I've been doing a, I guess, project pan on my Instagram and that inspired me to do this video. And I don't have a nice, neat, tidy title for this video, but it's essentially a video where I'm gonna show you guys some products that I have either hit pan on or I've been using and I've put a significant dent in amongst all of the categories or makeup categories that I have. There's not a lot of things that I have hit pan on, but the few things that I have, I'm gonna show you. And then in the other categories where I may have not hit pan on something, I'll show you something that I own that I have been using and that you can see the use in. Because I have a really bad habit, which I'm sure some of you share, where I buy something, I love it, I use it, then I stop using it, and then it goes into my makeup drawer and and I forget about it. So I think it really shows a lot about a product if you actually hit pan on it or if you put a considerable dent into it because it means that you're actually using it and you're loving it and it's like a integral part of your makeup routine. So if any of that appeals to you, then keep watching. Okay, let's start with some base products. Now these are kind of hard to tell, but I have used quite a bit of both of these products and they're actually quite similar. The first one is the Nude Air Serum Foundation, which I believe has been discontinued. And the other one is the Serum Foundation from The Ordinary. Both of these are very fluid foundations and I'd say they're a light to almost a medium coverage. Um, the Ordinary one probably has a bit more coverage than the D. Dior. I have the Dior one much longer than I've had the Ordinary one. Even though the Dior one is in a much more robust looking packaging, they both hold one fluid ounce of product. So they're the exact same weight, supposedly. But I have been using the Ordinary Serum Foundation uh, much more regularly, so that's probably why I've used this up much more quickly. There's probably only about a third of this product left, so probably just about to this line. And then on the Nude Air is kind of the same. I've only have about this much product left. So these are two bases that I've been using very regularly and I'm almost through. So let's talk about powder. Now I've only put a considerable dent into one of my powders, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder and it's in the shade 2 medium look how awful this packaging is it's not really the packaging's fault it's probably mine but look how rough this packaging looks the mirror has totally come off that's why this no longer travels with me I just keep it um, on my vanity here in my beauty room but this is a great powder like I said I have a very bad habit of hitting pan on something and then using it less because I don't want to run out of it so you can see where where I initially hit pan and then just let it sit for a while and then lately I've just been using every single day to use it up. I've had this for two years. I've been using it regularly for the past two-ish, three months and I still have quite a bit of product to go. For bronzer, I have two here that I've actually hit pan on, which is very exciting. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. I think they're repackaging this bronzer, um, but it's a really great bronzer. It has tons of product in it. It's like 10 grams, so that's why it took me forever to use it up. But as you can see, there's like a hint of pan there. And then this one is the Dior Nude Skin or Nude Air Nude Tan in number two Sunlight or Sunset. I don't quite remember what it's called anymore but it's one of those um duo tone bronzers so there's a deeper shade here and then a lighter shade here and then it also has this weave of coral in there so this when it was brand new looked really gorgeous because it had um the embossing nude in it i thought that was just an overlay but as you can see it goes right down to the bottom of the pan because even where i've hit pan you can see it, a little bit of that product this coral shade is what gives your cheeks this beautiful flushed glowy look to it so I'm really happy that this went all the way down and it didn't just stick on the top. This also has the same amount of product as this guy so they're both 10 grams each. Now for blushes, I have a ton of blushes and it's so hard to use up blushes for me because I have so many, um, you know, I never really use the same one for more than a couple weeks at a time. But as you can see, these are probably one of my go-to blushes because I've actually hit pan on them. So the first one is this really gorgeous 
coral peach shade from Shoot Mora. I don't even know if they have this anymore, um, but it's just this really pretty satiny coral blush, which I love. Um, even though I have a duo, you can see I obviously favor this coral over the magenta fuchsia. This one also, if you can tell, has hit hard pan. So it's very difficult to pick up products sometimes because um, it's just hit hard pan in this area. This guy is a NARS blush in Luster. <laughs> Again, look at this packaging. It's definitely seen better days, but it's, this is a really gorgeous blush. It is this really beautiful, warm, shimmery apricot shade. And I love to use this all year round, but especially in the summer, spring weather. And as you can see, I've hit quite um, considerable pan on it. And then the last blush that I have hit pan on is this guy from MAC. This is MAC Blush Baby. It really does not look very flattering in the pan, but when you apply it on, it just gives your skin a really beautiful kind of rosy glow to it. And it really just gives your cheekbones a bit of definition. This is a warmer, I wanna say, warmer slash pinkier version of Tarte Exposed. I have a really bad habit of using a lip product consistently and then once it gets very low like these to all of a sudden stop using it. Um, so we have here Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl. This is a really gorgeous lipstick and I would not hesitate one second to repurchase it. This one is Hourglass in Fresco. It's from their Femme Rouge line, which has now been discontinued. So I'm really dreading the last swipe of this product. It's this really gorgeous muted pinky rosy beige color and it's just a great everyday lipstick. Over here, we have the NARS Dolce Vita, which again is a really pretty everyday lipstick. This is actually very sheer. So you can see it here. This one was just a little swatch of the hourglass one. The NARS lipstick is definitely much sheer and also a tad more nude. Let's just swatch the Charlotte Tilbury one for good measure. It's definitely the deepest of the three. It's just a really pretty um, dark, rosy berry shade. And then the last one here is the Lancome Juicy Shaker in Piece of Cake. This is such a gorgeous sheer lip gloss. I love this lip color so much. It is the glossy version of all three of these products. As you can see, it has a bit more of a shine, but it's a very similar toned lip product. This is such an easy product to apply, no mirror required. I've yet to hit pan on a highlighter or an eyeshadow palette, but I thought I would just show you guys a few of them that I have in my collection just so that you can see that I actually do use these. Let's start with the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Now here you can see that I put quite a bit of a dent in all of these products. For a while there, I was just using this palette solely for my face for everything, for eyeshadow, for blush, for bronzer and highlighter. So this is the Natural Beauty palette. You can see here where there's a bit of a shadow. I've used quite a bit of that eyeshadow shade. Um, I don't feel like I use these ones as much because they're much more pigmented. Um, you can see the dent that I put in the bronzer. So there's kind of a bit of a dip there. Same goes for these blushes. Um, I really like the blushes, but the more I use it, the more I hate these tiny little pans for the blush because I tend to use a very big blush brush. I just don't find that I can get my brush in these pans without hitting the highlighter or the bronzer. And the highlighter shade, again, you can see I have hit a little bit of a dent in there, not as much as the bronzer, but I also don't put as much highlighter on my skin because this is a very pigmented highlighter. Speaking of some more highlighters, we have the rose gold highlighter here from Becca. Um, this used to have this really gorgeous like geometric pattern to it, which you can still kind of see around the edges, but down the center, I have de definitely destroyed that pattern, but it's a really great highlighter. I really like this. I've also put a considerable dent in one of my other favorite Becca highlighters, which is Opal. So you can see there's like a bit of an indentation in the middle there. I also really love this Laura Mercier highlighter, but I haven't been using it lately, but you can see I have used quite a bit of it because this used to be a dome shape and I kind of shaved off the top there. And then for eyeshadows, again, I haven't used up an eyeshadow palette, but this is the Tarte Toasted palette. Um, all of these palettes used to have the Tarte little logo on it. So you can kind of see that on most of them, the Tarte stamping has, um, 
been brushed off a little. So this palette I've been using quite evenly. I really enjoy all of the shades in this one. This is the Charlotte and Bloom palette, which again, I have been using. I really enjoyed this palette also, but as you can see, this one, which is Charmer, is a shadow that I don't use very often. The embossing on this pan is still very visible. On all of the other ones, I have put quite a bit of a dent. I use these palettes a lot, but the reason I haven't used a lot of the product is because they're quite pigmented. So I really don't use a lot of product on my brush to apply it onto my eye. There you have it. Those are the products that I am using, that I've hit pan on, that I'm working to finish up. Like I said, I've been doing kind of an informal project pan where I am trying to use up products that I have in my collection. So I actually haven't done like a formal project pan in a really long time, probably five years. I'll actually link a video here of a project pan um, that I did where, with a really cheesy intro. The intro is hilarious. You have to watch it just for that intro. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm not sure what my next video will be. So I'm going to put a poll up here of some ideas that I have or some requests that I have had from you guys that I'm finally getting around to. So if you are inclined, then click on the poll and vote for whatever video you wanna see next. I know for sure I'll probably do a Sephora sale haul. I'll let you know now that I'm not buying a whole bunch of stuff. If you follow me on Instagram, you pretty much know what I'm going to buy as of today. Uh, that hasn't really changed and the sale starts Friday so tomorrow Friday the 13th spooky I am limiting myself to only five items and the reason is I don't really need anything I don't really need any new skincare or you know there's nothing that I need to repurchase so I will only be picking up five things they're likely going to be new things things I want to try things that have been kind of on my wish list I guess that's it again I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video before you leave you have to let me know any products that you have hit pan on or products that you are working on finishing up and I will see you guys in my next video bye